Human Rights Commission has launched an urgent court application to try and stop the demolition of illegal homes in Lunasia, south of Johannesburg. Now, this took place after the Gauteng local government demolished about 51 houses. The South Gauteng High Court postponed the hearing to the 23rd of November, but yesterday, government resumed its demolition process. Lawrence Mushwana is uh, chairperson of the Human Rights Commission, is here to talk about this issue. Good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning, Vuyo. Thank Madison. you very much for joining us. So clearly, I mean, one can accuse the Human Rights Commission on failing the public if stuff like this can happen in this human rights dispensation, as it were? Well, uh, it's a pity that uh, we continue to see demolitions of this nature, you know, in a democratic state. Mm. But uh, as a commission, we cannot say we have failed because we dealt with specific individuals who came to the human rights. And in terms of uh, the judgment of the court, there was a list of individuals who, against whom demolitions were going to be carried out. And it is those people that we took the application to, to court. Oh, so it's not defending everybody? It was not everybody. We okay. did not have instructions that there will be other demolitions in other parts of Lenasia until yesterday when we woke up to learn that uh, they have moved from the previous area into a new area. So we were not involved in this new area. Where have you engaged the them. Gauteng Department of Housing on this matter? We, we have. We have already written a letter to them, for instance, last, last week already, uh, requesting for an agent meeting with them. And unfortunately, until today, as I speak, they have not come back to us. Yesterday, when we learned of these new demolitions, we immediately contacted uh, the state advocate expressing our disappointment uh, of the manner in which this matter is being handled while we're still waiting to proceed in court uh, on Friday. And we also tried to get in touch with the MEC, but uh, we kept on being told that she's not available. And we, I tried personally to obtain a direct number, but uh, I was not given the number. So we are willing as a commission to yeah. talk to what is the? I mean, what is your view as a commission? What can be done? The Gauteng Department of Housing says uh, the, the land was illegally procured. There's a court case. There's a court judgment to this effect and so on. And yet people have built houses there. W what could be an amicable solution to a situation of this nature? We are nothing can beat the uh, negotiations. Uh, through our search, we discovered that the former MEC for housing, uh, Humphrey, I think it's Humphrey uh, Memezu, there was a negotiation that was going on between the residents of Lanesia and the department. Unfortunately, when he, he left his job, that negotiation stopped. And you'll know that there was an appeal that uh, was brought by the, re the residents against this judgment. And when Memezi left, the, I mean, when Memezi said he wanted to negotiate, the people dropped the appeal. And unfortunately, when he left, then that's what we see happening now. Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, I think there's a sense where a government is saying you, you cannot negotiate uh, around a criminal element. I is that your view? Well, it depends which criminal element, because uh, if you know by now that there are people who worked for the, 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 for the government mm -hmm. who defrauded people in the sale, then you ask yourself, who is criminal? Because some people purchased these plots uh, in good faith. And our view is that if there are people who have been arrested, then cases against those individuals should be completed immediately so that the real facts come to light. Because if you continue now to prosecute people who, some of whom in good faith, purchase these properties, I think it's a high-handed uh, action. So what to do now? I mean, in pursuing a meeting with the MEC, what would you like to say to the MEC? Well, I, I will really say to the MEC, this is not the right way to go. I don't think this is the only way. Uh, to deal with, uh, with our people by sending bulldozers to bulldoze houses. That's not the only way. And we, 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 we are aware that uh, the people, for instance, have reinstated the appeal yesterday, which means there will be no further demolition. And if that happens, then that will be completely against the law. 
And we have also reliably been informed this morning that uh, the resident wants to bring another application for an interdict in respect of the Greater Lanesia, because we were restricted in our application to uh, Section 13 and Section 4. And now they want to bring an application in respect of the, the remainder of the Lanesia. And I think if that happens, then that will halt this demolition mm. for now. Is this a government looking to uphold the rule of law, or is this a government that has lost touch with people on the ground? Well, uh, it's difficult to see how a rule of law can be maintained in that manner, because if you go and execute an eviction, you must first make an as assessment, an impact assessment, of how such an eviction will affect people. For instance, you check whether there are children involved, where the, they are, whether there are disabled people involved. Mm. Well, uh, we're looking here at a property that is still under construction. Here's another one uh, that is still under construction. So these ones that are under construction because there's no children there immediately, what would you say should be done? Well, uh, we, we were equally surprised that uh, people, even after the order, and even after the court has uh, said that there should be no further construction, there were new construction, we are informed, that uh, have been taking place. And in terms of the law, if you are, uh, you are illegally occupying a place, the government has got the right to remove you. If that's under spoliation, if it's still within 48 hours, and then you construct something, then government can remove you from the plot. So we are not sure how old are these structures that are being demolished there in order to be able to, to, to make a view. We have sent in our people and today I will be receiving a report from them exactly to know when were those structures cons uh, constructed. Are they immediate structures that have been constructed after our court uh, case uh, last week? Yeah, so you've tried to meet with the MEC with, without success. As the Human Rights Commission, what other recourse do you have? Go to the courts, apply for an interdict, matter is postponed until the 23rd. In the interim, more houses are being demolished, process is slow on that side. What else can you do? Well, we, we will continue with the court because we believe that is the best route to follow. And if people like we are expecting them come to us today to ask for an interdict, we will make an assessment and if it needs be, we will continue to interdict. Then it's up to government if they want to follow their own laws. I think if they don't, then it's for the people to decide what to do. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. The Chair of the Human Rights Commission is Lawrence Mushwana joining us this morning. You may have some thoughts.